make the aging that, that literally robs us of our life force, all of the mucus. And even those ones who would claim to be vegan or vegetarian, most of them did not grow up that way. And we grew up on meat, dairy, eggs, chicken, fish, flesh, flour, cheese, eggs, and whatnot. And so now veganism is trending and the extent of it is to have a vegan form of the garbage that we grew up eating. Therefore, you'll still be creating disease because all of the nitrates, the nitrites, the BHA, the BHT, the uh, pads and metasulfites, the preservatives, the shelf enhancers, the, the food stabilizers, the things that make all of your favorite products taste the same regardless of where you buy them. So if you get Minute Maid orange juice in Florida and then you get it in California, you get it in Washington State, you get it in Detroit, you get it, you are looking for the same flavor, chemical regardless of what batch of oranges. So all of this chemical, all of the parasites, organisms, worms, bacteria, and viruses that come from ingesting the flesh or the carcass of a dead animal. When the primary law of existence is thou shalt not kill. If thou really shalt not kill, then thou shalt not eat of the flesh of that which has been killed. Now, what does that do? It poisons the blood. What is the blood? The blood is the, the, the river of life upon which the spirit is charged in this body that is actually the temple for the dwelling of the true spirits of the living gods and goddesses. Those ones who are cleared, cleansed, aligned in the truth of themselves, that we are all these points of the absolute and supreme intelligence that is beginning with endless, infinite, and eternal. And we have been given gifts through our DNA, gifts through our genealogy, gifts of, from the lineages that we represent, right? So a lot of ones and ones who have natural gifts, they generally can say, well, my grandmother or my grandfather or my great-grandmother had these gifts. So the gifts are passed down to us that give us our own unique expression of the divinity of, of being intelligences of existence. With, I'm sorry, with the meat, dairy, eggs, chicken, fish, flesh, flour, sugar, alcohol, tobacco, and all of that does, is that it creates cellular oppression. So the brain cells are oppressed. All of the cells of the body, trillions of cells, become burdened and laden with toxicity and sludge which is why then they put people on blood thinners. You understand? So all of the disease that is the actual pandemic, the heart disease, the cancer, the upper and lower respiratory issues that are coming from all of the mucus, the diabetes, the obesity, you understand the sarcoidosis, the lupus, we were already in pandemic. And then a year ago, when they tell us to shelter in place, People sheltered in place with the flesh of dead animals, the aborted fetuses of chickens, the pus and mucus of cows, artificially colored, artificially flavored, same old garbage. They never gave us any protocol for clearing, cleansing, consecrating, and really enhancing our immunity from something that we can't see.